Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gonsundan campaign. We're picking stuff up for episode 21 from turn 117 in the autumn season of 213. So last episode, we pretty much finished the turn. Um, I wanted to move this army because I think they will heal up just fine as they move through the land. There's plenty uh, of land to take, uh, you know, distance for us to. I'm probably going to beat this army up just to get them out of our hair and then continue north. I don't think we're taking Wulin. We're going to keep the Naman faction small so that they have less fealty between them. And uh, over here, we wiped out one of the armies, uh, the Yellow Turban Rebels. We're going to disband the troops and I'm guessing re I mean, we could we could attempt this. Like we can't delegate, then we can just back off. Yeah, no big deal and uh, we'll recall everyone. Worth a try. This way they get a heal. And I believe that is everything. Uh, we did get a little money from beating up the yellow turbans so that we can perhaps throw another building out here. Mm, not the farmland. Livestock, that one's in danger. We're probably going to lose it during the end turn, so we're probably not going to touch that either. So I guess maybe they will all be saved. Uh, we still have a bunch of spies. Everyone's on cooldowns. So we can't do much there. We're going to have to wait a few turns. I'm not that interested in checking Coron's faction right now. I'd like to keep the slot open. Tax is still on high because we still have a few more turns of uh, civic propaganda going on. And I think, I think we can end turn actually. Like, we might lose this, but that's not a big deal. I am curious. 55, 50, okay. So still huge value there, uh, but let's continue here. All right, so let's see. Ah, that shield. So, well, Lady Liu should be fairly familiar with them, and we'll bring them down. It's interesting how the value is really close on our side anyways, but we'll skip this. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Huh. You might be my daughter. <laughs> it's actually true. I, this is Yuan Shao's wife we have. You might be my son. Uh, we're gonna release you guys. Oh, spy extraction. Well, we can't. We don't have enough points. So, don't extract. It's Smai's army. Um, he did go after our single army. Um, it still has quite high delegate values. We're not going to get that crushing defeat that we're looking for, but we're going to fight this one uh, and then just beat them, of course. Alright, you've got a foggy day. Are they They're two separate directions? Three separate directions? Three separate directions again. Okay, I mean... Everyone has guerrilla deployment, so that's nice. I could probably just sacrifice these boys again. Who do I want to hit? I want to hit the ones who can burn up my place. And it seems like we should probably just focus on one side. It's not very accurate. And we'll try to pound these guys. And we'll try to seal these off as well. They usually like to come from behind, so when they do show up, we'll stop them. As for you guys, you guys will go together. You guys will go hide somewhere. And I will go put to stop these guys. Alright, run over there, take care of them, Oh, 
Alright, hopefully we're gonna set up for another shot. You two actually should hide over here. Okay, try to pound them. Go after the spear units again. If we get a chance. Hold off on that. Alright, we don't want to burn our own stuff. That's that's it. He's he's gonna burn down some of my stuff. I just can't stop that. Or can we? No one's pulled out a torch yet. And they're gone. Hey, who I need you. Come on. One more volley. Don't let them. Come on. Don't let them throw the torch. Fire, fire. Go charge them. Actually, it's fine. It's ready on fire. We're out. Ah, uh, they're too close now. It's too late. Um, prepare to die. Yep, yeah, prepare to die. Maybe when they're all busy hitting them, I can maybe get a good spray. But when I step on this, they're gonna know. Okay, we got some time. They don't know I'm here yet. Seven, six. Oh, do we wanna line up our shot? I guess against the cavalry would be good. I wonder if that little hut's gonna block us. We're about to find out. Uh, hello? That was not the command. Uh oh. Where are you? Run, 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 run. Alright, they're throwing the traps on the ground. Which is good. I kinda wanna kill her. Actually, no, she's our spy. They charged out, which means when they come back, Wooden Stake's gonna do its job. I would say that was, that's a pretty good shot. Oh, smoke screen. Good luck. Yep, got some value out of that. Got some value out of that. They got nothing against me. I can just run around here and do my thing. Come on, buddy. We're gonna wipe you out now. Our last volley, should we use it on spear guards or should we use it on tiger cubs? Holy tiger cubs, they're charging at me. Time to peace out. Holy use it on these guys. Alright, we fired it. How many of them are alive? Still eight. Oh, poor girl's gonna die. We can't help it. They don't have any more range units, I believe? Right, so we can do whatever we want.
We'll show you guys what we have. See, the bad thing about their cavalry is it's really slow, and the poison slows them even more. Look at their speed now. And we have skirmish mode turned on, so they will never catch us. We'll just kite, and the interior tower is doing their job, I think. No? But once they step out... Yeah, they don't even know they're getting hit right now. The shield only protects the front. The missile resistance protects the damage, but the poison should tick. Hmm. What an idiot. Too bad he's also a spy candidate. But he's level 4, so he can't die. Resiliency here. Yeah, we'll also slow him to 25 speed. And then we'll charge over here and kill him. Can you go maybe pick off some of these melee cows? Shooting at them is a pain. Shoot at, shoot at these. Grandma Jian. Alright, kill them. And they'll fire as they run away. It's over. There we go. Alrighty. So, if we don't extract her, I don't think she dies. She routed, so she should be fine. I'm just gonna release her. Ah, the ambush worked. They crossed, and now they're stuck on our side with the ambush. A decisive victory. Ooh, right. This type of. Hmm, this, there's a lot of micro involved for this type of army. Um. They should have no ammo, right? Because he has very low cunning. There is four burn officers here. One, two, three, four. That's 120%. So unless you have more than 20% boost to cunning, uh, you have no ammo whatsoever. And we have 113 ammo. Yeah, 24 on the trebuchet. And even these guys have 15. So let's fight this. Alrighty. So it's raining, which is fine. Um, we don't have fire on any of our arrows anyways. There is flaming shot, um, but I guess we'll just ignore that as well. Reinforcements are coming three minutes or uh, yeah, three minutes later, so they're probably not going to be a factor here. I'm probably going to put the siege weapons towards where the reinforcement is coming from and just do harassment damage fire well and just if they want to turn around and come towards me they can um, they're welcome to try us um, if they want to escape I'm down for that too because the army's not really built to eliminate everything and they'll be trapped on this side of the river with us for next turn anyways so that's a win for us our goal would just be harass and run away even Zhang Fei's unit have 80 ammo it's kind of nuts We're gonna turn skirmish mode on just so we don't have to micro as hard. And do we want to try to? Okay, so he might be the toughest one to duel. We'll pull them back. Go down as always. He can probably just help boost range damage. Another 50% boost to the damage. 
infinite range, 60 second duration. We'll activate this right off the bat. Uh, Zhang Fei and Zheng Jia might look for a couple duels. I'm not sure. We'll put them here, see if we want to do that. But the first thing we'll do, everyone's fire well, right? Yep. Uh, let me... Left side, right side. I'm not really going to micro you. Let's go activate. Our damage goes to, what, 50, 65, 4, 80, 89, 89, 14. All right, pull back a little. Pull back a little. Doesn't want to duel, doesn't want to duel. Okay, we'll pull back. We'll just follow them along and uh, harass them. They're throwing traps on the ground. Uh, doesn't hurt us much now after the nerf, but We'll still try to avoid that by cutting them out a little. They're just running straight, huh? Okay, that's fine. We'll catch whoever we can. And if it's not a spear unit, we could even charge them. Yeah, they're they're putting up no effort to fight us. Yeah, throw the trap on the ground where your troops are gonna run away. Yeah, not everyone's gonna get away, it seems. Seems like we can probably stall a few of them. You get that one, you get that one. I mean, if they're not charging me and they're not running away, I might as well just try to harass them a little bit with the bow. We'll kill whoever we can. No need to force anything. No longer retreating. Good. Pick that off. Pick that off. Pick that off. Alright, we got reinforcement incoming. I can boost damage again very soon. Yeah, the the retreat zone is just a kill zone right here. Here, I'll go do this. You guys go back to shooting. One of you stay on him. Take care of that guy. Let's 
over, but it's also not over because we want to chase as many of these kills as we can. Uh, friendly fire. It's okay. We'll heal. We'll heal during our uh, our end turn here. We are on our own land. Yeah, it's not a total wipe of their force, but weak enough, and they're also on our side of the river now, so they can't really get out. And uh, we'll just run everyone down. I think that's good enough. Alrighty. Capture anyone? Hmm. Guess not. Temple wants to be extracted. Sorry, we don't have the points for you to do that. And you're just gonna get beat again. Alright, see you guys at the end. Alrighty, very soon Chenpu doesn't have to do this anymore as he will be joining us. We'll be extracting him soon. Uh, pass. And John L's group is back again. Ah, uh, one more time. They have very few men left, but it's very hard to get Ribu dead. You know, he's unbreakable, so we have to actually kill him with the towers. Um, maybe we'll show this, because we might be able to do that. Let's see. Alrighty. So, they're only attacking from one direction. That's a blessing. Uh, my job is to cut away. Your job might be to fight to the bitter end. Because I think I want to kill them. I want to actually eliminate them, so we don't have to deal with them again. We haven't had any luck in uh, in terms of capturing any of them. We can also do this. Uh, charge negation against mounted, plus the spikes. Sure, we lose a few guys who can't shoot their arrows, but... Huh, maybe we don't do this right away, and we just shift into that when they get closer. Yeah, that probably sounds like a plan. Meanwhile, we're out. It's foggy. They can't even see me leaving the place. That's wonderful. So I'm just going to hide behind this rock, and I think I'll be safe. For you guys, show no fear. The enemy is shifting away from this gate. Why? Come on, I know we put these down, but you guys aren't that smart. Seriously? Not only are they Okay, what if we what if we show up? Hello? Guys. I'll shoot you. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Alright. Oh, they got fire arrows. Any chance we can kill these guys? Oh, we're gonna get roared on. Yep, that's it for us. Don't worry. As long as I'm alive, we're not going anywhere. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to destroy them. They got the fire arrows going and they're already inside. They have no incentive to come out. They don't know where I am, so they're not gonna be able to find me either. So I'm just gonna cut to the end. See you guys then. Alrighty, we actually straight up beat them. The towers did its job. Even Ribu went down to end. Uh, we also took a smash, we also lose some units, so it's Pyrrhic, uh, no capture chance here, not that high. And this should be the livestock farm going down. Cannot do anything about it, so they can have it. Kongzhou is expanding. Alrighty, we lost the settlement. Chenpu is returning right away. Uh, Hu Huzhu is also returning to us. They lie? Oh no, he's just re he's just returning. I also kind of want him to return. There is really not much we can do. 
uh, we can maybe discredit faction one more time if we get enough points, but right now we just don't have enough points. I feel like maybe the best thing is to just extract him. Smai will work on some other way. There we go. So that ends our spying chapter. Uh, we picked up quite a few characters from all that spying. She's also unhappy from top and left, uh, someone who we used to reduce their faction credibility. Alright, so any threats nearby? Not really. And we'll take the delegate win here, and then they'll go assist taking down Sun Quan at Dian Ye, because he summoned himself onto the field actually. Yes, another stack. We would like your sister's bow and your father's horse, as well as your forge master, if that's possible. Sign us up. Alright, we're marching directly for you. We'll sit here. Feels like we took the pressure off most places. Like, sure, this this is still quite the show. I think everyone's still gonna come at Lady Liu here, um, but we can't do too much about that. Our son's holding over here. Another rebel has formed. We're gonna have to summon someone to take care of that again. All right, they're on our side of the river, so we can go after them. Um, burned officer. Night battle, I guess. Once they hit six, we can give them our unique unit. Shia! Where do you think you're going? Yeah, I think it's time to either either we can go wipe them out. They're kind of weak. Right, they're kind of beat. The generals ran away. Some of the cavalry ran away. They just he's blocking us here, so we can't take the city. Oh, the city garrison get drawn out. Or no, she can't reinforce the city, but the city cannot reinforce her. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, this would just be a delegate. I'll take the weapon. I don't think. The movement would be enough, although we could probably do it next turn. So we'll sit here for a turn. I mean, feel pretty safe here, don't have to move them. I'm gonna take care of that later. She's still gonna hold all the tension here in the fishing port. Zhao Yun can probably just take them offensively and then maybe take them offensively by himself. Just that we don't need to. Like, this is great. Like, that's taking up the entire army slot. That's taking up the entire army slot. That's what we like to see. We don't want him to build new armies. Alright, so we're closing in on him. He might have trouble reaching them. But we could always wait a turn, put them under siege. If they want to come out and fight us, that's fine. No rush, we can close them out together uh, in style. I feel like this part is done, right? There's no threat here. We get one more shot at catching Sima Yi. Probably going to use Yan Bai Hu. What are you using? Make the axe a bit more aggressive. Alright, see if we capture him. Maybe? Ah, the other one. Um, I mean, he's he's not bad. Just wasn't wasn't hoping to get him, I was hoping to get Sumai. Alright, so they did their job. The question is, do I want to walk them up or summon them somewhere? I think summoning them is better. It's a shame he's still level 5. Still pretty far. We're going to recall this group. It's far easier to summon them. And it's not that expensive. We have 75% redeployment cost. Maybe even higher than that. I think we have a reform. She can be recalled. Like, this threat is no longer big enough to take down the town, especially... Oh, who's the administrator? Oh, maybe she's on the field. She's probably a burned officer. Uh, I mean, I have this army nearby if they want to do anything, but looking at their health, 
I, I feel like they can't do much. So pushing out here. This hold is a little bit extra as well. I feel like there is a threat here. Not a big one, but I guess we still need a force here. We can't easily go over next time. Do I need to take care of this? Because I could just keep them on the field and actually bounce our public order back. Because as long as you have a rebel, it will be positive. Whereas right now the reserve is going to make sure it's always negative if the rebel's not here. So this way we can actually stop some of the bleeding, in a sense. Uh, what do we want to do this assignment? Um, Boyan's not high enough level. I guess it would have to be here. We have our dear friend with surplus market here. Do you not have reach? Yeah, he doesn't. That's why he's so slow. Hmm. Oh, he has uh, flexibility. You should leave. He'll just take care of that. He can come take care of this. We don't have to summon anyone here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm thinking about building up an army here, an actual army, to take care of our problems in the north. So... Jia Houyuan. Xixin Jieyu. Oh, gets along with him. OP. And Jashu, perhaps? No. Not a friend. I mean, we can still use him. Yeah. We'll still use him. He's, he's ancient. 66. Historically lives on to like 83, uh, lives to the founding of the dynasty of Wei, but I don't know if he's going to make it that far in our campaign. There's no guarantee he gets the same life he does. Mortality rate for him takes a 60 just like everyone else. He, I don't think he's given the long age, even though he probably should. Uh, let's mix it up a little, throw in a couple of these guys. Uh, we'll let you keep we'll let you keep the heavy and the light version and then the rest are going to go with our unique unit all right sit inside very happy now no need to hold on to this he doesn't have reach but he does, so you get to lead our army. Oh, but he doesn't have flexibility and he does, so you get to lead to get us the heal, because we're not going to move for a few turns. Um, I guess you will eventually get reached, so we'll, we'll just let you command, we'll give you a little bit of movement there, ammo for the troops. That's fine. That's good. A little bit extra cunning. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves another army in the north. We can actually start counterattacking. Zhao will still hold against the west until Dragon Fei's army start advancing here. Because once that's clear, Zhao Yun can be pulled. I mean, okay, he can be pulled now. Ah, Zhao Yun finally gets a break. And then we're, we're going to have two stacks coming across. Uh, Yan Bai Hu's stack will also get summoned. Probably here as well next turn. And we might flush out his stack a little bit bigger. Or actually, no, we'll probably keep it small. It's actually pretty efficient as a small invisible force. This group I might flush out as well. But right now, I think all the money is going to go to our economy. Boom. We got a rebel here too. We'll let them grow. We have six building slots. Population is not max, so I guess there's no rush to get another level there. Lin Hai private workshop and the inn. Yeah, that's probably the right order. Doing things here. We don't have to reform for that. Nan Hai is looking for an inn. Ling Ling. Okay, we'll do that first.
Corruption reduction needs to be controlled first. Way too much food already. This I think we can upgrade just because it's going to help our garrison. That's still kind of frontline-ish. 31k extra cash. That means we can start rushing buildings if we want. Especially some of these corruption reduction ones going to benefit all the neighboring commanderies as well. And then once that's done, you can start working on private workshop. Same thing here. And then when you get an extra time, we'll get the more income one. Anyone else focused on corruption reduction? You. Perfect. Now I'm not going to rush this just because I'm running out of things to build and also kind of running out of cash uh, to build with. Yeah, let's go this. And there's they're both returning. She's also returning. So all of them are returning and there's no new candidates. So that's fine. No more spying for us for a while. No alliance. Celestial dynasty. Shu Han. Okay. I'm gonna eliminate them pretty quickly. Eliminate them pretty quickly. Eliminate them on the way to eliminate them. The Divine Empire. This one's a little bit more impressive looking. Sun Quan's almost dead. Then these two will be liberated. But then I still have to be eventually. Just I'm probably gonna keep them as weak ones. I'm gonna eliminate him soon. Keep him around. And then we're going to have to send a force up there north to take him down. The Lions of Gorus Purpose. Okay. Sure. The Lions of the Hush Wind under Duchy of Song. No problem. Alrighty. I think we're good to go. Uh, another round of defense for Lady Liu. She's the busy person right now. I mean, you got oh so many characters. Should I move her a little bit forward so that she gets those heroic victories? But I think against these, it'll be against this is definitely be heroic. Yeah, it's fine as it is. Let's go. And the first one has arrived, Yuan uh, Tan, and his brother and Yan Liang. Uh, so because he's leading, we're not gonna be able to get any, you know, uh, crushing defeat on him. It's only the leader of the army, so they won't feel it. But we probably still might get a capture or two. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, got the heroic. Let's see, we got one. She's not willing to work for us. It's probably our daughter too. Matter of fact, these are our sons here too. Alright, Swin's next. And uh, see you guys at the end. Alrighty, so let's see if we can capture anyone. Heroic victory. Rushing defeat on her. Ah, not the one we're looking for. Um, pass. Who is it this time? Oh! They're attacking the. They got smart! They're sieging the fishing port! So this, this can be a draw, basically, unless we wipe this army out, pretty much. I mean, we still have her help. It's not night battle. If we still have unbreakable kiting, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll see you guys at the end here. Alrighty, we caught one. Not interested. And then nor will she want to work for us, just not executing her. We beat them, by the way. It's a win. Straight up win. And Zhang Liao wants to give it another try. Um... We beat them last time, but he bounced back to full health uh, with one less resiliency, which is why this is a little bit difficult. I think, I mean, because I'm breakable, it'll be, we'll cut it out. It's, it'll be, it'll be quick. All right, at this rate, Liu might actually get straight up killed. Okay, he just lost another layer of resiliency. We gotta watch out. But if he fights us again, gets killed by towers. I can't really control that, so it will be his fault. Oh, Menghu is here. Yeah, we saw this army a couple turns ago. It's fine. We got the units here to beat them. Um, you guys seeing us loop elephants around? It's gonna be the same thing. We have 
very nice units. So see you guys at the end here. Alrighty. So that's done. We probably caught Meng Huo's son. He has the elephant. We're taking him. This one... Uh, less impressed. Guess we'll release. Alrighty. Modesty from his trait. Some extra satisfaction. A couple of traits. Ooh, honest. Very nice. Um, we got these from battle. All good. Let them grow. They're trying to avoid us. They're running away as well. Alright, time for the High Empire to go to sleep. The mountain's blocking the battle view. The camera can't pan down for some reason, but it's all good. He's not white. Ah, that's really it. So, I'm gonna have to execute him to make sure this army is just gone. Nothing against Twilia. He's a he's an okay guy. Fought his job. Was one of the Grand Excellencies. I'm assuming the army will dissolve itself. I don't know if they'll summon someone else to replace him. I'm guessing, no. That's my guess. Uh, it's spring. We got reforms. So we were debating about the spying situation, but I think our spying episode is okay. We're done with that. We're gonna focus on corruption reducing. That's very important. Our copper mine is now tier four, uh, five capable. Uh, I don't know if we got shaft mining. We didn't. So that's the awkward part where we don't have level 4 copper mines yet. So we gotta get that next and then we'll probably go back to that. Like right now we have enough spy positions. They're all coming back. It's taking a while. And no one wants to be a turncoat. So no rush on the spies. Um, they're gonna clean this up and then go over there. I think this is the turn we take none. They don't have to go with them, but we might as well. Yeah, we'll heal up. Not gonna waste time fighting it. And they're out of movement, but I think they're in reinforcement range, so it's not too bad. We hit level 6, uh, which is a pretty good threshold. We're going to get Tenacity of Steel. We're going to upgrade some of her units. Now that she's 6. Yeah, no real threat. We're going after to what we're going to wipe out Tai Maul next. I just clean him out. No more of his faction. Then Huangzu as well. And then we're going to turn back west. Uh, speaking of turning west, we might be able to summon someone to help us with that right away. Yeah, by whose force? Where's Guo Jia? Guo Jia is one level away from um, picking up... Well, they have mustering, they don't get in. From picking up his uh, own white horse fellows. They're fine, they're fine. She's still busy. I'm gonna sw swap her out. Um, even though she's doing a great job, Zhao Yun just have higher capture chance. So, she's gonna get a break. Zhao Yun will be in this fort now. This army can use another turn replenishment. There's no rush. If we lose that, we lose that. It's fine. Ooh, level up. Okay. We're gonna set up the siege. Not gonna fight it. Yet. Just going to start sieging them out. If they want to come out and challenge us during the end turn, they're welcome to try. We'll hide, and they will try to go reinforce that. And then we'll get them soon. So next turn we'll team up take this out. I mean, we could probably fight this and win. It, it'd just be a little bit difficult. Actually, it might be quite difficult. Sun Quan, mm. Yeah, we don't have a lot of men here. Uh, cavalry's not really the greatest weapon. I mean, we're bringing more cavalry, but sheer numbers, grand buffs, we should be able to carry it. They look absolutely safe. Um, there is no burn officer here. There, this is a poison volley group. 
either we can I think we can just recall them and reset them up somewhere else now that this is safe we're gonna shift almost everyone to the north that's kind of the general trend oh we forgot the administrator shuffle this this been a while I'm sorry much safer now like I don't think anyone wants to touch this okay that's good um this is a problem we probably need to take care of although it is helping us this is fine this stack is a little bit concerning two elephants hmm this is our recruitment site we could pump out more armies we can answer with the elephant plus maybe some of the we're just going to use the seasonal deployment to its fullest this turn keep the elephant let him stay on the field and then maybe give him a couple of the poison volley generals to back him up we'll give him good weapons we don't have good armors for you only going to give you range units going forward as well hmm not that useful that's also let's give you a bow all right so he's good I'm probably gonna move them uh, there's there's enough so we're gonna use that as our save I'm gonna do everything else first action council grill deployment we'll take a random item Ooh. Ah, uh, um, not sure. Not sure if I care. So we have enough cavalry now. We get the cavalry bonus, right? So we have we've seen the range bonus, extra you know range, extra ammo. This is the cavalry bonus, extra charge bonus, fatigue resistant for them, extra charge speed for shock and melee only. So this really doesn't really apply to us that much, because we mainly use them for range and their range, so they don't get that bonus either. I have to say, the choices here are terrible. Is there any way we can maybe cycle out of that? Hmm. Any action we can take? Maybe we... Hmm, no, that's not going to help. Ooh, let's see. Devastate. Little base building. Oh, the item's gone. This is different. One guy's army gets more movement. Deplete their supplies. No, because we're going to take this next turn. One guy, one guy's army is the one not sieging, so I don't know why they're offering that to us. Okay, the item's back. That's at least a little bit helpful. I don't really care about his skill tree, though. Like, I know I don't care, so that's no good. Poyang could use the public order, but don't really care. No. Ma Teng's faction, what did they ever do to us? I mean, we can take this. These two bonuses still would apply. That one, not so much. Sure. I don't care for that. I don't really care for that, but... I mean, that one's free. Yeah, none of this really matters i mean we can take a look at the better garrison 500 we can we can definitely spare that so let's do it all right our economy takes a dip because we are not able to get any economic boost from our faction council this time unfortunate get that going it's debatable if we still want this building I mean, there's a lot of peasantry here. I guess I could see a value there. All right, this, if we have a chance, I'll upgrade that. Maybe pop the in. Just 
Shaft mining will make it cheaper. Yeah, might as well. Oh. Okay, so they have it. Okay, so we just got this one. So this is the building that I don't want. I want to stay workshop here. Everything else looks okay. Yeah. Alright, that's all done. Let's pick up a save here. Yes, we don't want to eliminate them. All right, that will actually still help us. Uh, I want to eliminate them. We'll be full healed. We'll take on anyone. Oh, that's not going to get saved. Right, we want to use that as our save point. I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, another big round of defense coming up. Zhao Yun's turn this time in Lujiang. He will draw all the attention. Our armies are on the north coast, and Sun Quan is down to one piece of land. That's it. He does have an army over here. Sun Ren's still out here with Zhou Tai. So they still have a chance to suicide after we take their territory. That's our last capture chance on them, I guess. Um, and then we're just hoping the Faunus... Like, like they have Faunus. He doesn't. But Surin has Faunus towards us, so there's a good chance we can get her. And I'm hoping we do. Um, that's kind of the hope right now. Aside from that, uh, the south, we're starting seeing signs of little invasions here or there. We're going to pump out an army to hold them back and maybe counterattack. We'll take a look if we want to do that. Um, but the south is ours. Um, next episode, clean that up. And then we're going to push north. All these small factions, all these small factions, they're going to disappear. Uh, Zhang Yan's territory here, Kongzhou. Uh, Zhang Chao, Zhe Bu, um, Cao Cao is technically a small faction, five pieces of land, not that impressive. Uh, so we'll be pushing him as well. And then it's on to the kingdom of Shuhan. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!